Okay, the next step of the process is we're going to remove the camshaft. This is the camshaft timing gear in the camshaft. Uh, it's secured with four screws. The, if you rotate the motor, you'll see that uh, you can remove two of the screws here, and you'll have to rotate it till the next screws come in line, and you can take those two out also. Uh, I like to use an impact driver, an impact screwdriver like this, with a good flathead blade. You can tell these have not been taken off before they're in really good shape. So make sure you've got it in there well. There's the first screw out. Let's see. Second one, then we'll turn the motor so that we can get the other two out. And that's how you remove the four screws that hold the uh, camshaft in place. Okay, after we take out the four screws that hold the camshaft in place, next we're going to pull the uh, camshaft assembly from the case. I'm um, going to use two M6 by 60 millimeter bolts here uh, that thread into the holes we just took the we just took the screws out of. Just use two of them. Thread these in like this. Then we're going to use the many in one tool again. This time we're using um, this, um, I think they call it the presser bolt, um, but it's threaded on the end and it's going to thread into the end of the camshaft like this. So we're going to put the body of the tool uh, against these two two bolts and then we're going to thread this into the end of the camshaft like this okay there we go um, and then as we tighten this it's going to draw the camshaft out um, but before we do that, there's a couple of things you want to make sure to do. Uh, first is you want to make sure that your, uh, your tappets or your cam followers are out of the bores here um, before you go and try to pull the camshaft out. I've already taken them out. If, if yours are in there, make sure you get those out before you pull the camshaft on both sides. Um, get all four of those cam followers out. And then on the back of the case, you can see this raised area here. This is where the actu where actually the back 
uh, cam bearing sits inside the case. Um, and when we pull the camshaft out, we want to heat this area of the case really hot so that that uh, bearing is not left behind in the case. We want it to come out with the, with the camshaft. Um, it's not terrible. If, if it is left behind in the case, you can get it out, but it's a pain. So what we'll do is we'll use a torch to heat this area of the case really nice and hot so that when we start to pull the camshaft out, that bearing will come out with it and not stay in the case. Uh, one more thing I decided to do before pulling the camshaft is to remove the, the uh, oil pan. Um, it'll just make the, the engine more stable uh, on, on the workbench here. Some people have engine, uh, vices and stands to put them in. I just work off the bench, um, but it takes a little bit of creativity to do that. So, uh, just take off all of the, uh, of the bolts and washers around the, uh, oil pan and pop the oil pan off. Okay. So we've been heating this up for a good five, ten minutes, getting it nice and hot here where the camshaft bearing is. Now with the tool in position, we can try to draw out the camshaft. So let's take off the tool. Let's take out these two bolts. And then the camshaft comes out. After all that heat, it's still left behind the bearing. There should be a bearing here on the back of the camshaft and that has stayed inside the case. So not a deal breaker, but uh, there's a way to get that out, but it involves more fun and games. The next thing we're going to do is remove the uh, oil pump gear here. It has a washer that secures it and uh, we're gonna bend that washer back flat. to remember about this is it's a reverse thread so you actually are going to turn it right clockwise to loosen it it's a 14 millimeter nut Again, we are going to turn it clockwise to loosen it. What you can do is just give it a small tap with a hammer and it should come loose. There it is, the nut and the retaining washer behind it. And then the oil pump gear is just pressed onto, uh, just pressed on there, and uh, usually it will come off with a little bit of wiggling. If not, you can take a, a rubber mallet and just kind of tap around the face. To try to work it loose. Don't 
don't hit it hard. It's just aluminum. If it still doesn't want to come off, you can always put some heat on it. We'll try that next. So with plenty of persistent tapping and some heat, uh, the oil pump gear came off. Usually they come off easier than that, but uh, this one finally came off pretty well. So let's set that aside. I'm just spinning the oil pump gears to see how they feel. We'll get a look at those when we take this front bearing carrier off. Um, but the next thing we're going to remove is the uh, crankshaft uh, nose bearing and the crankshaft timing gear here on the end of the crankshaft. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to pull off the um, bearing on the crank nose and the timing gear behind it. Some older models have a circlip behind the the uh, bearing here so you can't pull them off together but but these you can uh, we're going to use the tool with these special cutaway bolts they fit behind uh, the timing gear like this and go through the body of the uh, of the tool and then we're going to press it off so let's put this together here nuts to hold these in place. Just tighten down. And then we'll tighten the tool against the end of the crankshaft. We still have that protective um, bolt in the end of the crank to protect the nose of the crank. And then we can uh, tighten this to pull it.
and it can take considerable force to get these off. They're, they're a tight press fit. There we go. And just keep working it off like this. And we'll take a little bit of time. And eventually, you will be able to pull the crank timing gear and the bearing that goes on the crank nose off together. Just took a couple minutes there to get that off. They're a tight fit on the, on the end of the crankshaft here. Okay.